What's going on everyone? This is Jacob Amrell here. If this is your first time visiting this video or channel, I build trading systems and trading bots to actually day trade and automate my investments in the stock market. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to set up your trading bot or any software for that matter on the cloud, okay? Having a reliable source for running a process uh, is really crucial, especially when it comes to trading bots, because you know if you ran it locally on your computer or on your PC uh, and you, you lost power or maybe you lost internet, your trading system or software is gonna go down, right? And you gotta restart it. With running it on the cloud, you kind of get that peace of mind in terms of reliability um, that you know a lot of these companies, that's their sole job, is to make sure that these computers are running 99 or 100% of the time. So with my trading systems, I like to run all of them on the cloud and not on my computer because I like that peace of mind of having that reliability, okay? So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up a cloud computer using AWS, Amazon Web Services, uh, and actually running my trading bot live on that, which I do right now. Before we get started, let's talk about what exactly the cloud is. Basically, anytime you hear the term cloud or cloud computing, it's basically a remote computer, uh, usually in a data center that you can access from your computer at your home or office, okay? So with my current cloud computer, I can remotely access it from my laptop and view the screen and actually interact with that computer without physically having to be there, okay? And that's what the cloud is, essentially, you know, thousands or millions of computers in a data center that are running and clients can connect to one or multiple depending on, you know, what they own. Generally, you pay either a monthly price or now what's more common is kind of a per use price where the more you use it in terms of um, either sending files, basically any network um, transaction um, on that cloud computer, say you download something or you send a file to it, you get charged for that transaction on how much data you're sending. And it's actually really, really affordable now. I remember 10 to 15 years ago, um, most cloud computing, which AK or also known as a VPS, virtual private server, you know, was a hefty 50 to $100 per month. But now you can get really fast cloud computing uh, for a fraction of that price. You know, on average, I pay anywhere from five to $10 per month, depending on how much use I have. Um, so it's very, very affordable right now, um, and it's only gonna get cheaper, okay? Now, in terms of the cheapest option for you, definitely, uh, I would say Microsoft Azure and Amazon AWS are the cheapest out there. Obviously, those companies have the deepest pockets, so they can afford to kind of, you know, make them as cheap as possible, right? Um, a lot of the small startups, you know, they're gonna be a little bit more pricey uh, because they don't have as much infrastructure. So if you're simply looking for the lowest cost, definitely Microsoft Azure or AWS are gonna be your cheapest options. I don't have much experience with Azure. I've only been using AWS. So this tutorial is gonna be using AWS, Amazon Web Services, which is probably number one in terms of uh, usage in cloud computing. So I'm gonna be showing you how to set up a Windows cloud computer that you can actually remote connect to from your laptop or desktop, okay? If you notice in my previous videos, there's a little blue bar at the top that says, that has an IP address and you can see it says Amazon AWS. That's actually my trading bot running live on my cloud computer. Um, and yeah, like I said, the biggest benefit of running a cloud computer is reliability. So it's super important to set this up if you have a trading bot or a trading system or any software really uh, to have that reliability so you don't have to worry about it. Um, you know, like I said, you don't have to worry about your power running out or internet, you know, going out. Um, you know, those generally, you know, AWS and Azure for sure have like 99.99% .99 uptime. Uh, so you have no, you don't have to worry about them ever going down. All right, so let's get started with this tutorial. To get set up with your first cloud computer, you're gonna have to register for AWS, which is Amazon Web Services. Basically, AWS is a suite of tools to be able to build products on the web and on the cloud, okay? So what I recommend doing is simply Googling um, Amazon AWS free. And the first link you'll get here is AWS free tier. So I recommend clicking that and then create a free account, okay? So I'm gonna log into mine, I already made one. Um, so let me just log in here. Okay, so um, yeah, if you're still filling out your account, just pause this video. But after you get your account set up, 
um, this is kind of the screen you'll be brought to and this is your management console and this is where you can access all the tools okay in this specific video we're just going to be setting up a windows cloud computer so you're going to be using their service called ec2 right and ec2 is their vps slash cloud computing um, process so um, obviously it pops up for me here in recently visited services you can also search it ec2 and click that and there's also a link here that says launch a virtual machine uh, which you can click as well okay So, um, I just want to double check I'm on the right account. Yes, I am. Okay. So I'm going to go back and click launch a virtual machine because I want to follow with you guys. Um, if I can go back. There we go. Okay. So, um, yeah, click launch a virtual machine because that'll bring you right into um, the process to get here. Okay, so um, after clicking that, you're brought to uh, step one, choose an Amazon machine image. So uh, this is the version or the basically the operating system for this virtual machine. And, and there's many, right? In this example, we're going to be using Windows. Um, but if you wanted to run it on Linux, uh, which is a little bit cheaper, um, that could be an option as well. The only reason why I use Windows is because my trading system right now operates on NinjaTrader, right? And NinjaTrader only works on Windows. Um, but most trading systems, if you build it from scratch, uh, are kind of agnostic to the operating system. So anyways, I'm going to search Windows in the search bar here and you'll get a bunch of results. Um, I would recommend clicking the first one, which is Microsoft Windows Server 2019 base. And you see that it says free tier eligible here. So um, the free tier allows you X amount of hours. I believe it's 750 hours per month um, of free usage. So basically you don't get charged at all. Um, with that being said, it is very slow in terms of using the actual virtual machine. You'll notice when you click, it'll take a couple seconds. Uh, so just be aware of that. If you want a faster virtual machine, uh, you will have to uh, pay. Like I said, I have quite a fast machine and then on average, I pay five to $10 per month. Um, sorry there. I, I clicked next without um, doing anything. Oh, I messed up. All right. So I'm going to go back here. Went on a little rant. So anyways, search Windows, Microsoft Windows Server 2019 base. So you're going to do that one. I'm going to hit select here. And now it's going to choose an instance type. And this is how fast your, your computer is that you're going to be using. So the default is uh, a T2 family, a T2.micro. And you can see it only has one processor and one gig of RAM. So that's incredibly slow by today's standards. You know, 20 years ago, that'd be pretty fast. But today, that's very, very slow. Um, you'd, you'd probably want to pull your eyes out trying to use a computer with one CPU and one gig of RAM. Um, what I use personally is the T2.medium. Uh, once again, this you will be paying for this. If you want the free version, you have to select the T2 micro, you know, you get what you pay for. If you get the free version, it's going to be slow. If you want something decently fast, I'd recommend at least the T2 medium. Um, that'll have everything you need. Um, but if you're tight on cash, use the free one. It's just going to be slower. Just keep that in mind. So we're going to select that and hit review and launch. And then you can see some more info about your um, cloud computer here. You can hit launch. And then the pop-up that comes up says select an existing key pair or create a new key pair. Okay. So this key pair is basically a secure token to allow you to connect to your VPS, uh, your cloud computer, sorry, and gives you a obviously necessary security. So other people can't just connect to it. They need this key pair to get in. Okay. So if it's your first time creating a VPS, um, hit the drop down and click create a new key pair, right? And give it a name. So I'll just name mine key pair and then hit download key pair. It's gonna go in your downloads folder and, it, and remember it's gonna be a .pem file, okay? So after that's good, I'm gonna hit launched instances. Now it says success, your instances are now launching, have been initiated, okay? So click your view instances button here on the right. And we can see it's initializing, okay? So there's mine, the new one that we just created. It's running, it's setting up, it takes about, usually I recommend waiting about five minutes. Um, and then here's my, um, that's, this is my actual instance running. Um, 
So it still says initial uh, initializing. I'm going to refresh. Still initializing. So I'll come back in five minutes and then I'll let you know the next steps. All right, so it's been about five minutes and you can see that the instance is now running. Status check, two and two check. So I'm going to select my new instance that I created with you guys and hit the connect button here at the top right. Now, what I recommend is selecting RDP client, right? And this will download uh, the remote desktop file in order to connect to it. Okay, so you're gonna hit download remote remote desktop file. And then you're gonna hit get password. And you're gonna browse for your key pair that you downloaded earlier. So it's probably gonna be in your downloads folder. And select your PEM file. Mine was called keypair.pem. Hit decrypt password. And now you'll get a password here. So you want to copy that. So click this icon on the left and that will automatically copy the password for you, which is really handy. Okay. Now, no, if you're a, a Mac OS user, okay. Um, you will have to download the Microsoft remote desktop software. Uh, so if you go in the app store and search, um, I don't know, remote desktop, I would just search uh, Microsoft remote desktop app. Yeah, here it is. So it looks like this. It loads here. Anyways, yeah, ju just search remote desktop app on the Apple App Store. If you're a Mac OS user, if you're a Windows user, you're fine. Okay. So I've downloaded it. I've copied the password. We've decrypted it. So now I'm going to open the file. So go into your downloads folder or whatever you downloaded your, fo your file and you get to download like this going to connect, right? Um, I'm going to check. Don't ask me again for connections for this computer. Hit connect. Enter your credentials. You're going to paste in your password that you copied. And also I would check. Remember me and hit. Okay. Hit yes. And it's connecting. It's setting up, booting up windows. setting up Windows Server 2019. So it's got to do a couple things here. Just give it some time. All right, there we go. We got our first cloud computer. Now, there's one more step before you can start using it. Um, I'm just going to hit no. Uh, I find with these uh, Windows, or at least on AWS, they have a little bit too high security. And anytime you use the browser, the Internet Explorer here, um, a lot of websites are blocked and you can't actually download files. So um, we're going to disable that super strict security settings uh, just to make your life easier if you're downloading, if you need to download software on here. So um, what I'd recommend is to disable it, hit the search button. And I think search, you can see it's already really slow server manager. So search server, the word server at the bottom left here and hit server manager. Don't ask again, close you. And then you'll be at the dashboard. Just click local server here on the left. And then you'll see IE Internet Explorer enhanced security configuration. So Click the word on and put it to off for both administrators and users. Hit OK. Um, I guess it didn't change. I'm going to hit this refresh icon here to see if it reloads. There we go. Now it's off. OK, great. So. Um, this disables the Internet Explorer enhanced security and allows you to basically visit and download files on Internet Explorer. Um, so as an example, I should be able to go to a website and have no issues. Perfect. 
So this is awesome. So now from here, you can, you know, um, either if you already have a trading bot, you can copy and paste the files on here, which I should probably show you guys how to do. Um, so let's go through that. So say you have some software on your desktop or on your laptop and you want to put it on here. Okay. So you can actually minimize this window. So in this window is my actual VPS, my cloud computer, and, and this is my actual computer. So you can actually copy and paste files on here. Uh, as an example, let's just copy this zip file here. So you can actually copy it. So control C or right click and copy and then select the cloud computer window and just hit paste and it'll actually send the file over the network from my local computer to my VPS. So now it's actually copying and pasting. Um, so say you had a trading bot, you could copy and paste it and put it on here. Or you can also just, you know, go on Internet Explorer, download whatever software you need and run it here. Um, and you have the security and reliability of having a cloud computer. OK, um, and then from here, this is going to run 24 seven pretty much. And you can close the VPS if you ever want to see what it's doing. You simply just reopen your remote desktop. Um, remote desktop file right here. Okay. It will reconnect and, um, you know, we'll see that it's still running unspecified error. That's probably because I copied and paste. I disconnected while I was pasting. Um, so let's just do a, a faster option. Let's, um, just do this PDF here just to prove to you guys that it works. There we go. So that file was new pasted. Okay. So that's my tutorial guys. Um, I hope you found value in this video. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you're going to be setting up your VPS or cloud computer for. Um, and if you have any questions about AWS, um, what's the best, you know, option to use, obviously, like I said, I recommend AWS cause that's what I use personally and what I've experienced in, but you know, Azure and Google cloud are also very cheap and very affordable and great products as well. I'm just used to AWS. So that's why I'm showing it. Uh, showing you specifically with Amazon. Um, but yeah, I would definitely recommend setting up a VPS uh, for trading systems. And um, I hope you found value in this video and I hope you're setting up your first cloud computer to run whatever software you need to run um, at a reliable and secure rate. Um, so anyways, if you found value in this video, uh, please leave a comment below and feel free to subscribe and hit the like button. And we'll see you next week for another video. Have a good one, guys.